time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I just wanted to start off 2016 with a vlog update, letting you guys know what's going on. First and foremost, I apologize for not uploading content for a while to the channel. I know it seems like I probably went away and died somewhere, and I know you guys have been sending me emails and stuff asking if I'm okay, and all of that. And the guys that follow me on social media, you know I've still been pretty active on social media, I just haven't been creating YouTube videos. And I'll let you guys know why. But first, why in the hell am I wearing a chain mail shirt? Seriously. Well, I'm gonna tell you why, because YouTube is a dangerous job. It's a scary place with a lot of hate, a lot of jealousy, and a lot of people that really wanna just cause me some kind of harm. So, you know, you gotta have a really, really thick chain mail armor to protect yourself from the trolls. All right, some of that might have been true, but embellished a little bit. The real reason why I'm wearing a chainmail shirt is because my neighbor and good friend Jeremy actually created it for me for Christmas. He painstakingly created this thing one link at a time from a roll of aluminum wire. Yeah, it's aluminum chainmail. So you'd think it'd be really lightweight because everybody says aluminum's light. It's not. This thing is massively heavy, but I love it so much, I'm probably going to wear it to bed during several poop naps at least, and maybe even in the shower because it is aluminum, so technically it wouldn't rust. Now you guys know I've long had a standing policy that I don't create videos unless I'm happy because I like to share my passion and my drive with you guys in my videos, and that doesn't translate through to the camera when I'm miserable. Well, unfortunately during December, I suffered from massive seasonal depression. I got sick a whole lot. I got the flu during uh, Christmas. I was sick during New Year's, and then I got a sick again in the beginning of November after going on a snowboarding trip. Um, that my friends drugged me to because they thought that I was actually just going crazy and I was pinning myself up in my house and I wasn't going anywhere or doing anything. So they drugged me out snowboarding and that was hugely lift lifting to my spirits. But uh, shortly afterwards, I ended up developing something in my right foot called gout. If you don't know what gout is, go look it up. I'm gonna spare you guys the mental imagery. It's actually a horrible, horrible, painful thing that kept me in bed for a week. And I'm still recovering from it today and I'm actually going to see a doctor this afternoon to hopefully get some kind of medication to stop another outbreak from happening because this is the second time this has happened to the same foot. And I've altered my diet accordingly, cut out a lot of things that create uh, uric acid uh, increases in your bloodstream, which is what ultimately causes gout. Uh, and I started eating a bunch of cherries and other food. And you guys have actually been a lot of help on social media about what I should be doing to treat the gout. But if every time I get an attack, I'm stuck in bed for seven days, that really isn't gonna work for me and probably isn't gonna work for you guys either. So the good news is the seasonal depression is mostly gone. I've got that under wraps. I've actually been pretty happy the last couple days, even though my foot's been hurting and I've been doing a lot of work around the nerd cave here to get it all cleaned up and organized because for the last two months, I've literally been climbing over boxes to get everywhere in my house. I mean, I, I hate to admit it, but I, I am a hoarder. Um, I, I keep everything that I get and I never want to get rid of anything and it becomes a problem when you have limited space. You guys may not have seen the video where I cleaned out my garage, I think it was last year. Um, I'll link the video in the description, but it was pretty bad, guys. I mean, my garage, we had to do like two full truckloads to the dump just to clear out a one car garage so that I could ultimately turn it into my maker space. And unfortunately it's heading back in the direction of getting cluttered again. So I need to get on top of that guys and stop it. But first that requires me to get my health back to my foot. Plus I wanna start going to the gym again. I was doing so good. I was going to the gym three times a week. Uh, I lost some weight, I gained some muscle. Things were going really, really well and the gout stopped me dead in my tracks and I have not been to the gym for about two weeks. And that's bad. I need to get back to gym to work out with my personal trainer who happens to be named Jim. And that's just, that's funny. It just, it just is. Now I've been receiving a lot of emails asking me when Codegasm is coming back, when there's gonna be more 3D printing videos, when there's gonna be more nerd block unboxings, and when there's gonna be more technology reviews. Those seem to be the four things you guys care about the most on this channel. And honestly, those all fall well within my passion. Well, let me give you a little update. The next video that you're gonna see after this one, hopefully in the next day or two, is gonna be a review of the Synology DS1815 Plus which is my network attached storage device that I'm using to replace my home built uh, 2011 Windows home server box that's been an absolute nightmare. I've lost tons of data with it. Every time a drive goes out, it's a nightmare to replace. I just wanna get rid of it. But Synology actually has a really cool solution that they sent me that I'm gonna be reviewing and I'm gonna be putting 32 terabytes of drives in it. Also, I have another 3D printer review coming up. I just received the Ultimaker V2 Plus, which is Ultimaker's new printer that has the new feeder on it that solves a lot of the problems that the old feeder had. 
And even better, it has the Olsen Block print head on it, which allows you to change out the nozzles very, very easily to get a different nozzle diameter. That way you can print in very, very high resolution or low resolution really fast, or you can print in exotic materials that have particles in them like the wood fill filament, the copper and the bronze fill. So I'm absolutely excited to be digging into that. Now, one of the things I'm really, really excited about review, and I'm sure you guys uh, want to see those videos too, is you may have seen the review, uh, or sorry, not the review, but when we went to Puget Systems, we did a full build of an HTPC for the Nerd Cave bedroom. And it is a beast of a machine. Well, I have it sitting in a box on the floor right over there, and we're gonna be reviewing that also. Uh, sometime this week, I'm gonna get it all set up in the Nerd Cave and I'm gonna start shooting, because I want you guys to see that because it's gonna allow me to use my projector in my room and my surround sound setup along with a wireless controller and play all my games, all my emulators, everything. There's very little that system shouldn't be able to do at 1080p. And of course, a lot of you have been asking me about my Puget Systems laptop that they built for me that actually has a Skylake desktop processor. Uh, it has a 980 GTX NVIDIA graphics in it, 32 gigs of RAM, and it's all SSD storage. It has two, two terabyte 850 Pro Evo Samsungs, and it has an M2 drive in it also, which is even faster for the primary boot up drive. And the thing is absolutely amazing, but wait until you see the power brick on this thing, guys. It's, it's ridiculous. But I also have plans for a couple of Codegasm episodes, and I also have plans for a couple of jerry-rigged episodes, but I'm not gonna tell you about those guys because I want them to be a surprise because I'm actually doing some pretty crazy stuff that I think you guys will appreciate or you'll absolutely hate, but at any rate, you'll just look at it and be like, Whoa. Now, I don't want this to be a long vlog because honestly, I wanna to get to shooting what you guys want to see, which is all the technology, all of the 3D printing and everything like that, which requires me to actually go do things other than stand in front of this camera and create a vlog. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog by telling you guys some absolutely amazing news that really lifted my spirits the other day. Now, a lot of you guys that follow me know my son, Xander. He's five and a half years old. He's in the autism spectrum with the diagnosis of PDD NOS. You can go and look it up. And uh, basically, he's had therapy since he was two years old trying to bring him up to speed with with you know his average peer group and we just got word yesterday from his physical therapist that he passed his tests at 50 percent which puts him in the 50th percentile which means he is absolutely dead average with a normal kid as far as his physical uh his, his physical therapy is concerned and that was an amazing relief to us we still have to work with him in communication in some other areas but he's vastly approving across the board and as a parent i could not be more relieved that means the world to me and we're noticing that his personality and everything has been changing he's been getting a little bit of his own attitude his own kind of xander uh, kind of Xanderness, if you will. And it's been, it's been absolutely amazing. And that has perked me up so much, guys. That has made me just through the moon happy. Thank you so much for all of the support in 2015. We grew the channel to 630,000 plus subscribers, which blows my mind. And I think we're nearing 60 million views, if not over that now. And that really makes me want to just keep on driving this thing home, guys. So this year, I'm going to give YouTube another year. We're going to see how things go. We're going to play around with some things. We're going to change some things. We're going to do some projects. But, you know, by and large, it's going to be what you've come to expect from the channel continuing forward. And I thank all of you for your support. Thank you for buying my shirts at shop.barnard.com. That actually helped out a lot in 2015. And also the donations that you guys have sent me just out of the blue are incredibly welcome and have helped a lot. This is a... Uh, one of those things where working for yourself is actually an interesting thing. Cause when you go to a job, your job takes out taxes, your job gives you insurance and all of those things. And you just get a paycheck then the week and you know what to spend. Well, through 2015, I had to learn through trial and error uh, that the taxes is very, very harsh, how you have to do them, when you have to do them. I have to do taxes twice. One is a personal, uh, like, independent person of the United States and I have to do taxes again is the business of Barnacles and Nerd Chasm. And, uh, it's quite frankly super overwhelming and the honest to god truth is i'm in the black but just barely um i'm honestly not even in any place right now where i'm contributing to my 401k or anything like that and obviously that's going to become a problem so my goal this year is to grow the channel more to do some more crazy stuff to do some really really just outreach stuff to help keep building this channel and keep making this a viable career for me to continue forward. Because I know you guys really enjoy the content and I really enjoy making the content for you guys. And I love sharing my passion of technology with you guys. I love sharing my point of view, my comedy, everything with you guys. And if there's anything I can do to continue doing that, I'm gonna keep on trying. 
All right, guys, thank you so much. Keep an eye out for the next video. Also, uh, just to let you guys know, there's been some problems with sub boxes on YouTube. So if you subscribe to me and you don't want to miss a video, just click on the little subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, click on the little gear button right next to the subscribe button. Click on that and tell it that you always want updates because by default, it has this sometimes updates thing, which it picks and chooses which videos I release that you actually see in your sub box. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and do that. You won't miss anything. And of course, come over and follow me. I'm at Barnacles on Twitter. I'm also at Barnacles on Instagram. And I'm Barnacles Nerdgasm on Facebook. All of those links are also in the video description. And I am always going on social media. Even when I'm not feeling too good, even when I'm not making videos and everything, if you ever want to know what's going on with Barnacles, just go check out the social networks. Twitter's probably the one I use the most. All right, I'm finally, I promise, I'm wrapping this up because stuff's got to get done. Oh yeah, chainmail armor, baby. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh damn, and I almost forgot bat knife. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot of bat knife. So if you really hate bat knife, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize in advance. Bat knife! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.